Hello friends, my name is Vaishya Kathiyagi and this is my channel The Living Science. Here you find the knowledge of some interesting facts of life as usual and today's question of mine here is What's the difference between the premates and non-premates? But before I tell you the difference between premates and non-premates, we all must be very well aware about what premates and non-premates are basically. I'm going to tell you the difference is actually nowhere but within the cycle their females are going. Like for example, if their females are undergoing through menstrual cycle, then they are the premates. And if their females are undergoing through estrus cycle, then they are non-premates. Although we all are very well aware about what menstrual cycle is, but still I am going to do an overview here so that we could better differentiate in between the two. Now what happens in the menstrual cycle, I will tell you first. The cycle actually included the four phases and these are follicular phase 1, ovulation 2, uterus 3 and menstrual 4. Now what is happening in all the four? First of all the follicular phase. Actually the follicles which are present inside the ovary of the lady are in immature. So first of all they will get converted into mature form or I could say the immature follicle will get converted into graphene follicle or to the mature follicle. Now as soon as that follicle will be matured or this will get converted into graphene follicle what will happen? LH hormone will increase suddenly and this LH hormone when increased this phase will be known as luteal phase. Right, and as soon as LH will increase, ovulation will occur, means our ovum will be released then. And if it is fertilized, it is being fertilized, what would happen? The lady will be pregnant then. And if it is not being fertilized, after some time or maximally after 24 hours, the lady will undergo through the menstrual or to the bleeding phase, means the bleeding will occur. This cycle is basically consists of 28 days on an average so that we could say this cycle is 28 days cycle as well. But remember this is an average value this may be 35, this may be 30, this may be 29 and this may be 32 in some cases depending upon the feeding habits, depending upon the work done by the lady, depending upon the stress she is taking. Right? So this may be very lady to lady or person to person I could say. So this is all about the menstrual cycle, what it is. And the individuals who are undergoing through this menstrual cycle are premates. I'm going to repeat here. Now, what are known premates? The lady or the female of those who are going under estrus cycle are known premates. Right. Now, what is this estrus cycle? First of all, as I told you, Estrus cycle is a cycle which is being followed by known premates. Point number one. Point number two is there is no menstrual at the end of the cycle. As we could see here in the menstrual cycle, what is happening? Menstrual is happening at the end. But the biggest difference is at the end of estrus cycle, there is no menstrual bleeding. There is no blood flow at the end. Now, as the lady will undergo to the estrus cycle of known premates, what happens? The level of estrogen and hormone associated with the sex urge or sex desire will increase. So this will initiate the sex urge or desire to have sex inside the body of the lady. Now next, as soon as the estrogen level will increase, this phase is known as the period of heat as well. This basically or essentially happens in the known primates, remember. Now what would happen? This period is known as period of heat when estrogen level will increase, lady will feel the urge to have sex and this period is known as period of heat. Now, point number 3 and 4 and 5 are told you but the point number 6 is very important. This is, this cycle happens only once in the breeding season. Means in every breeding season, this cycle can happen only once. While what happens in the menstrual cycle? This cycle happens every month. This cycle happens at every month. There is no fixed value that this will happen only once or twice or thrice. In the breeding season, this happens at every month. Menstrual one. 
but estrous cycle can happen only once during the breeding season the another most important difference between the two cycles is endometrium will ever come out will ever come out if we talk about the menstrual one endometrium the inner layer of the uterus will ever come out with this blood flow menstrual in case of premature mammals like for example human as well but endometrium or the layer of the uterus will never come out if we are take, talking about the estrous cycle or non premature like for cow example like like for cow and buffalo there is no menstrual at the end of the cycle this will happen in the breeding season only and endometrium of this will never come right 